guys, Sheree, what's up? Back with another video. As you can see from the title, your girl been testing, your girl been trying new sunscreens. I tried 10 new sunscreens, so you won't have to, sis. Yeah, it's been a struggle. <laughs> There's definitely some fails in the bunch, but there are some faves too. I even discovered the best, the very best mineral sunscreen for dark skin. And if you have dark skin, if you have brown skin, if you have any skin tone besides copy paper, you will know how hard it is to find a mineral sunscreen. We have a lot to discuss. I don't want to make this intro too long, but if you are new here and you've never seen my face, but you like my face, definitely be sure to subscribe so you can stick around. Give this video a thumbs up. It really encourages me. So if you want to see more content like this, give it a thumbs up. It actually does help my channel. I will link everything that I'm talking about today. It takes a lot of work and time to test out sunscreens. So if you really appreciate this content, click in my links. I'm producing through my links. It gives me a nice little thank you. And it keeps me encouraged to create content like this. And I would love you forever. When it comes to all of these sunscreens, I do want to say that all of them are going to work on oily skin. All of them have a beautiful finish. Whether they work for me or not, the finish of these sunscreens are amazing we're gonna start first with a new sunscreen I have a lot of new new sunscreens that literally just came out to talk about this is the Kosas dream beam comfy smooth sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 40 this sunscreen is a hundred percent mineral sunscreen it does have zinc oxide at 21.7 percent it is not a tinted sunscreen there's no tint to it but it does have a peachy hue to kind of offset some of the cast that some folks can get on their skin it does retail for $40 for 1.4 fluid ounces so it's definitely not an affordable sunscreen it's almost $29 an ounce like the name suggests it does have an SPF rating of 50 it also has a PA rating of four pluses it does contain phenethyl alcohol which is a preservative and a fragrant ingredient but it doesn't contain any parabens and it doesn't have have any noticeable strong scent I really can't smell much and it maybe kind of lightly has a floral scent but nothing that really sticks to the face or is irritating I didn't get any irritation from this product it does contain yummy ingredients it contains peptides and ceramides which helps to plump the skin it gives that suppleness to the skin there's also hyaluronic acid which brings the moisture it is perfect for the summer for some of us because it is water resistant up to 80 minutes and it does have a thin creamy consistency it doesn't feel thick and heavy like a a lot of other American sunscreens but honestly y'all this is not my favorite sunscreen I've talked about this before on my channel where I tried it for the first time when I try some other products that can be found at Sephora if you haven't seen that video you can check it out um this pills for me this pills like crazy not only is pilling an issue but also it makes me look like Casper it honestly makes me look like Michael Jackson if you have a medium skin tone it may work a little better but I've also seen a creator that has medium skin as she had a cast it wasn't as bad as my cast but it's definitely not a perfect sunscreen for those of us who are not white honestly I've seen a lot of white creators rave about this and they love this but if you are deeper darker skin I would stay the hell away from it even though this was sent to me by Kosas I'm always going to be honest and open with y'all this ain't it for those of us who are darker it's, it's just not I'm going to give this away I'm not even going to use it again because honestly it was a mess this is another sunscreen that literally just came out a few months ago. This is the Inky Lace Polyglutamic, Polyglutamic, girl, whatever. The Polyglutamic Acid Dewy Sunscreen SPF 30. It's supposed to hydrate, prime, and protect. And let's get into her. So this is a chemical sunscreen. It's 100% chemical sunscreen. It does use common American chemical filters such as atacrylin at 10%. It does retail for $14.99 for 1.7 fluid ounces, which is almost $9 an ounce. So not too bad when it comes to American sunscreen. American sunscreen can get pretty high. So $9 really isn't too bad like the name suggests. It does have an SPF of 30 it is alcohol fragrance and paraben free for those of you who like to stay away from those ingredients it does contain polyglutamic acid and glycerin which 
rich house to bring that moisture. It is a moisturizing uh, sunscreen. It doesn't feel drying on the skin or anything like that. It is not water resistant, so it's more of an everyday sunscreen. If you're going to sweat a lot, if you're going to be swimming, then this isn't the sunscreen that you want to turn to. You want to use something that's more heavy duty. Like typical American sunscreens, for me, this sunscreen is heavy and like tacky on the skin. It feels heavy on my skin. I haven't heard many people really say that, but that was my experience with it, especially as you begin to layer it up. It feels heavy on the skin. I got to like the third layer or so I could feel the heaviness on my skin it felt like my skin was was suffocated I did not like that feeling it's not a feeling that I'm used to when it comes to sunscreen um yeah no um even though it is called the dewy sunscreen it's not very radiant on the skin I think if you have oily skin I don't think it's going to make you look super shiny I think it has a natural radiance to the skin I don't think it's going to add any more oil it does burn my eyes after several layers which is common on Honestly, when it comes to a lot of sunscreens, even my favorite Korean and Japanese sunscreens, when we get into layer four or five, it just becomes a lot about my eyes. So it does tend to burn. So I don't really put that against it. Most people are not going to have irritation with this as most people do not have as sensitive eyes as I do. So it's not too bad. It's actually one of the better America sunscreens that I've tried in terms of burning my eyes. It's, it's doable. It also feels tacky on the skin. I think this is an excellent primer. If you're looking for an, a primer that's also an SPF that's going to give you some protection, again, you have to use enough of it to get that SPF. But I think this is a great sunscreen as a primer. As an actual sunscreen that I'm going to use throughout my day and layer up, it's not a favorite for me. This was sent to me by the Inky List and then they also sent me another one so now I have two. I'll definitely probably give the other one away. I do like that it's accessible. It's right in Sephora. You can click a link and do in-store pickup and you'll get it the same day. You don't have to wait, you know, weeks or months if you order it from Asia. So it's very accessible. Um, I think the finish is great on the skin. I think it'll work as a great primer especially because it's tacky but as a sunscreen for me to use it's not my favorite but people have people love this people rave about it I did have someone in the inside of their teeth that said it does pill on their skin I didn't really get any unusual pilling with this uh, I, I used it for a few days that wasn't my experience but pilling is potentially a problem it's potentially an issue something that you may want to look out for this is an alright sunscreen but I wouldn't purchase it if I'm being honest I made you wait long enough, so let's talk about my favorite mineral sunscreen, and it's the Coast Flawless Complexion. First, started off with the first iteration of this, which was just the tinted version of it, but now they actually have a richly tinted for those of us who have deeper, darker skin tones. This is 100% mineral sunscreen. It has zinc oxide at 20%. It is a tinted sunscreen, and it has to be. There's no way to cover up the whiteness that is zinc oxide. Zinc oxide is a white pigment. The only way to actually cover it so it can look like something on our skin is for it to have a tint. Tint is annoying. It has its drawbacks. When you touch your face, you can see the sunscreen on your hand like you can foundation. It's not foundation. If you're a man watching this video and you're weirded out by the thought of wearing foundation, it's not like wearing foundation. It's not going to give you super coverage like foundation does. But it kind of does at the same time, right? Um, and I don't like that when I touch my face and I touch something, I can see the sunscreen. But I do love it because it doesn't burn my eyes. I can layer this up four layers in and my eyes are not going to burn. It's not going to sensitize my eyes. It doesn't sensitize my skin. If you can only use mineral sunscreen, this is the sunscreen for you for sure. These retail for $27.50 for 2.5 fluid ounces. So they are giving you a lot of sunscreen. That calculates out to $11 an ounce. It is an SPF 50. I prefer an SPF of 50 and above. It doesn't contain any alcohol and it doesn't contain any fragrance or parabens. It literally smells like you're applying nothing on your face. These do contain a stabilized form of vitamin C. Vitamin C is an antioxidant. It's going to help to protect the skin from the sun. It also contains vitamin E as well as glycerin. A con about this is that it's not water resistant. So it's not something that you should use if you're sweaty 
or if you're swimming even though it is mineral it's not heavy on the skin and it's definitely not drying this is definitely a sunscreen that's going to be dewier on the skin but I know oily skin creators that love this it's definitely not going to make you look like an oil slick but it definitely does not mattify and it does add a little bit of radiance to the skin but I don't think it's crazy it's not gonna make you look like you dipped yourself in some oil it's really not too bad Coats did send these to me shout out to them for sending me these sunscreens I actually reached out to them and they were gladly willing to send them to me which isn't always the case with other brands so I have a lot of respect for this brand this is actually my second uh, tube of the sunscreen I purchased the first tube on my own and that's when I fell in love with it I purchased it at Ulta and I'm glad I have another tube as well as the new iteration of it I will say for my skin tone I prefer the original even though after a few layers you can see a bit of ash it looks the best on my skin tone to me when I'm three or four layers in I can get a slight 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 ashiness like in my eyebrows or my hairline but it still looks really good on my skin especially for it being a mineral sunscreen when it comes to the richly tinted it's too dark for me the first layer amazing like bro the first layer of this looks so good but once we get into the third or the fourth layer it begins to pile up and actually darkens my skin so my my face and my neck looks super dark compared to my body I don't even know this brand personally but I'm so proud of them I'm just so happy that we have this option where we have an amazing mineral sunscreen for those of us who prefer mineral sunscreen there's a lot of like fake science around whether mineral or chemical is better I don't really care about that debate use whatever sunscreen you want as long as you wear your damn sunscreen but this y'all this sunscreen top two and it ain't number two just so freaking good get you some let's move on to our fifth sunscreen this is the unrivaled sun cream by 11 by Venus Williams I didn't even know about this product I didn't know Venus Williams even had a skincare brand this was sent to me by the brand we love to see it this is not a cheap sunscreen y'all this is $48 for 0.99 ounces so we know it's about $48 and Alice, this is the most expensive sunscreen that we're going to talk about today. It is a mineral sunscreen, 100% mineral. It does have zinc oxide at 10%. It is not tinted, but it does have a yellow hue to it to help to kind of offset the offset the cast to it it is spf 40 we love to see it it does contain some fragrance components and essential oils and you can definitely smell it it does smell like citrus so this is definitely a sunscreen that can potentially irritate your skin if you have highly sensitive skin i would stay away from it it doesn't contain any alcohol or parabens it does contain lecithin for moisture and also a derivative of shea butter which we know shea butter is always so good for the skin as well as amino acids it is water resistant up to 40 minutes which is great for the summertime it has a thin serum -y consistency it actually has a great consistency that really melts in well you know sometimes American sunscreens like I said are thick and heavy this ain't like that at all this honestly is not a bad sunscreen it does have a cast on my skin it's not the worst cast I've ever had it's definitely an all right cast where it's like mm, you're kind of casty but it's doable is a type of cast where I can easily ap apply some powder over it and it's going to be fine I don't have to work hard to cover it but it's not it's not cast free which is kind of disappointing because Venus Williams is a black woman and I would have hoped that she would create a sunscreen that looks good on us especially because Venus Williams is also a dark skinned black woman it is less casty than a lot of other mineral sunscreens but it's definitely especially for the price it doesn't cut it especially when you have coats at $48 an ounce it needs to pay my taxes it needs 
to do my natural hair it needs to apply my bronze or all that and it doesn't really do that it's cool definitely something that i'll keep using and using up but definitely not a favorite and i honestly wouldn't recommend it unfortunately let's talk about the kapari sun shield body glows i have both of them i have the original gold one as well as the rose gold one i purchased the original with my own money from Alta and the rose gold was sent to me by the brand. I did want to let you know that these are 100% chemical sunscreens. They contain the traditional American filters such as etocrylene, uh, Avil Benzone, but that's fine with me because I'm using a I'm using it on my body and my body is not sensitive to sunscreens. I got no eyeballs on my chest. So chemical sunscreens on my body works for me. Also, if you're not wearing sunscreen on your body, you should. I'm not always the best at it, but I'm trying to be better. When I'm going out during the day, instead of wearing lotion, I wear sunscreen. These are $39 each for 5.1 fluid ounces, which is around $7.65 per ounce, which really ain't bad. Obviously, you're going to have to use a lot more of this than you would regular sunscreen, but, but almost $8 an ounce really could be worse. It's definitely not a super affordable sunscreen. Definitely more luxury, but it's honestly beautiful on the skin. The original is SPF 50, so the original Kapari is SPF 50, but the rose gold is SPF 45. I'm not sure what that's about. I tried reaching out to the brand via Instagram DMs and they left me on red. So I have no idea why they're different when they're basically the same formula. Also, the original is water resistant up to 40 minutes. If you're sweating or you're swimming, this is still going to protect you up to 40 minutes. For the rose gold, it really doesn't say. They are paraben and alcohol free, but they do contain some fragrance. The original smells like cake. It's honestly my favorite one because it's SPF 50. It also has some water resistance and it's it has some water resistance and it does smell like cake so it's my favorite and the new rose gold doesn't really have a scent to me it doesn't really smell like nothing honestly um and yeah both are pretty on the skin it literally makes your skin look nice and wet and juicy so the answer is yes they both contain macadamia and avocado oils which are great for the skin and they have a oil gel type of consistency honestly beautiful on the skin but you want to make sure that you're applying enough you can easily apply just a little bit if you do want to get the advertised spf on the bottle you have to make sure you're applying enough i've also noticed that they don't give you that wet feeling on your skin by themselves if you want that glow to last you still want to layer it on top of a moisturizer or a serum the first one i started using and i was like where's the glow like you get the glow at first and then it disappears and i'm like bro fraudulent but once you actually layer some moisture or oil or something underneath it then the glow the glow the glow stays on i did want to let you know that but these are great sunscreens highly recommend them we'll be using them in heavy rotation this summer if you wanted to know if they're worth it the answer is hell yes now we're going to talk about some sunscreens that aren't new, but they're definitely new to me. The first being the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Sunscreen. Everyone's talking about this. If you're into Asian beauty or Korean beauty, this is definitely a very popular sunscreen. So I did want to try it. It is a hybrid sunscreen. It does contain Tinazorb M, which can leave a white cast on dark skin. It, it is $12 for 1.69 fluid ounces which is about seven dollars an ounce so definitely more of affordable sunscreen we love to see it we know asian sunscreens tend to be cheaper that's why i love them i do have a video on my favorite sunscreens i should have said that earlier if you haven't seen that video you can definitely check it out it does have an spf of 50 as well as a pa4 plus rating we love to see that it's fragrance essential oil and paraben free as well and there's no drying alcohols and on Honestly, it smells like nothing absolutely nothing it does contain niacinamide which is good for oil control as well as acne control centella and vitamin E 
which are nourishing to the skin. Doesn't promise to be water resistant, so you definitely want to use it more as an everyday sunscreen. It has a thin serum like consistency, and I honestly love the pump on it. The pump is one of the best features of this sunscreen. It may be kind of off-putting at first, but it, it works really well to just pump it out. This honestly, y'all, does leave a cast on my skin. I don't think this works for deeper, darker skin. If you have medium skin, it may work better, but for someone that's my complexion or darker, it's going to leave a cast. It's definitely a doable cast, but once you layer it up, of course, the cast begins to cast even more. So it's not something I personally would repurchase. Is it nice? Sure. It reminds me a lot of the beauty of Josange sunscreen. They're really manufactured by the same company, I'm pretty sure. And that makes sense why they have the similar finish, why they leave that kind of um, cast to the skin. So if you've tried the the Madagascar Centella by Skin 104, you tried the Beauty of Justin sunscreen, they honestly work the same to me. So none of my favorite. Obviously, I've used a lot of it. It's to the very bottom. I don't hate this sunscreen. If it was sent to me, would I use it? Surely, under my makeup or one on my side. It's not horrible. But it's not a favorite for me. I wouldn't recommend it for deeper, darker skin. It's a no, but it is a nice sunscreen, just not for people that are darker. I've talked about this sunscreen before. I mentioned it in my Sephora recommendations video. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out. So you already know what I what I think about it if I've already recommended it. This is the Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. It doesn't contain any atacrylene, which makes sense why it's one of my favorite American sunscreens, because atacrylene can really irritate the hell out of my eyes and many of the other filters too but I feel like a tacrolin is really a trigger for me in my sensitive eyes it's $16 for 1.69 fluid ounces which is $9.50 an ounce not the cheapest sunscreen ever but for the American market it's definitely more on the affordable side especially for a sunscreen at Sephora it's really not bad it's, it also does have a value, value size as well I'm pretty sure it's a better value than this one but I wanted to try the smaller one but I did want to let you know there is a bigger size as well I think it's like three fluid ounces something like that it is SPF 36 I would have preferred if it was SPF 50 but it's a nice everyday sunscreen something you can use in the house I do use sunscreen in my home because I have windows everywhere and the Sun is still hitting my face even through the windows yes UVA and UVB rays can go through the window so I do wear sunscreen inside as well it does contain some fragrance but honestly I can't smell much of anything like, I literally can't smell anything, even though it does have fragrance in it. There's no alcohol, and there's no parabens. All of these sunscreens so far have been paraben-free if you're trying to stay away from parabens, so that's dope. In my other video, I know I mentioned a lot of sunscreens with parabens, because a lot of Japanese sunscreens tend to have parabens, but I'm not anti-parabens anymore, and I've talked about that before on my channel. This does contain centella and glycerin, which are nourishing to the skin. It's not water resistant, so if you're looking for a water resistant sunscreen, this ain't it. Like I said, it's more of an everyday sunscreen, and it has a light, creamy consistency. It literally melts into the skin. It's perfect for all skin types. I know oily folks that rave about this. It has a nice radiant finish. It, it doesn't add much more to your skin and it doesn't take away so it's not matte i just think it's a perfect finish for most if not all skin types i don't get any pilling with this it's honestly a great sunscreen it does tend to burn my eyes after like the third layer which which is common with a lot of sunscreens a lot of sunscreens once i start to layer it up it becomes a lot for my eyes but the first layer two is pretty good is the sunscreen i would pick up again yes if i'm ever in a bind i need to pick up something from sephora i ran out of my sunscreen or i forgot my sunscreen and i'm somewhere where it has a sephora i know i can go in there pick this up and i know it's going to be good it's just a great sunscreen for those of you who don't want to order from asia you want something on the ground click a link to in-store pickup and honestly just get you the big size just don't even waste no time get you the big size it's really so damn good now let's talk about the last sunscreen I've been talking way too damn long but I didn't want to save like one of the best for last and this is the Ish Ishihan this is their sun killer kiss me perfect water essence it reminds me a lot of the Biore essence if you like the Biore you're going to love this they're honestly like almost the same type of sunscreen they almost look the exact same as well two solid sunscreens amazing um this is a hybrid sunscreen because it does have some titanium dioxide 
but there's zero white cast to this. I can layer this four layers in and there's no white cast at all, even though it does have some titanium dioxide in it. It is $8. I mean, the price does change when it comes to Asian websites, but it's around $8 for 1.7 fluid ounces, which is less than $5 an ounce. So it's definitely the cheapest sunscreen we've talked about today. It's so good. I love it. Like I'm really just, I'm really just giving it all to you. I love it. Honestly, it's so, it's so amazing. It is SPF 50 as well as it has a PA rating of PA 4 pluses. There's no essential oils to it, but there is a fragrance. It kind of smells like citrus, but it doesn't bother me and it doesn't bother my skin. It's a slight, it's a slight citrus scent. I think it's fine. Still, still, you know, top, top 10 of sunscreens I've ever tried. And it doesn't contain any parabens. And I know a lot of y'all love that. It does contain some vitamin E as well as hyaluronic acid, which are great ingredients for the skin. It doesn't have any promise of water resistance. So it's definitely more of an everyday sunscreen. It has a gel cream consistency, like I said, very similar to be orange. I definitely picked this up because of Julian. I think his name is Commander on Instagram. I'll link him down below. He has a huge, a huge sunscreen database of like 400 sunscreens. It's so, it's such a good resource for me when I'm looking for a new sunscreen. I will link his Instagram as well as his website down below. This one is so good. Literally has become one of my favorites. Had I tried this before my favorites video, it, this would have definitely been included. When I do a favorites wrap up, this is definitely a sunscreen I'm going to talk about because I love it. This video has been long enough, y'all. These are all of the sunscreens that I've been testing lately. I'm already on to testing a bunch of other sunscreens. I have a whole bunch of sunscreens lined up. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, definitely let me know and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click a link and save a life if you want to pick any of these up. Let me know what you have your eye on, what you're, think about, what you're thinking about picking up. If you want me to try out any other sunscreens, definitely let me know. Let me know of sunscreens that you want me to try as well as some of your favorites. And that's it for now and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out. Bye y'all.